Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome back. Cumberland Outdoorsman out here on the Cumberland River, and I'm hoping to find some crappie this morning. I'm going to be heading downstream here, down the river, and uh, there's not much wind this morning. It's a little bit overcast, which should be good for us. Uh, the crappie are biting right now. It's just a matter of finding them. And day before yesterday, my grandson and I went back into a bay back here off of the river and we caught a few crappie some pretty good ones actually and I'm hoping to get in on some of that action this morning he didn't want to get up out of bed so I'm out here alone today but uh, let's head on down the river and see if we can't get in on some crappie Well, folks, we're back here at this location where we fished yesterday and the day before, and I thought I'd give this a try before I go anywhere else because the sun is actually not shining on that part of the water <laughs> where I hope to find fish, so maybe we'll have some luck. Let's give it a try. All right. Toss in right about there. Here we go. Oh, something bit. Got my bait. Something grabbed it. right back in there. Same spot. Who knows? Maybe we'll catch a crappie. There we go. Got something. little white bass or yellow bass I tell you what for the size of them they sure are fighters we got a catfish on I think yeah You know what, I'll tell you what, we'll throw him in the live well for now. If I catch a few more, I'll fillet them. And anyway. We'll put him in the live well for now.
let him swim around in there a little bit. If we don't catch any more, I'll let him go. That's the thing about catfish, they always get that slime on your line. You gotta clean it off. But they can be pretty good eating if you have some fresh fillets. I've always liked channel cat anyway. They're probably my favorite of all. There's a good crappie. Get him in the boat. All right. Well, folks, there's a good crappie I just landed right here by these sticks. There might be a few more in here if I. Give it a try here. and a half. So, there might be some more crappie right there. Well, folks, there's a good crappie I just landed. Right here by these sticks. Might be a few more in here if I show you where I was fishing. Right there, folks, around them sticks. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna ease right up here, real quiet, not make a lot of noise. There we go. There's another crappie. Boy, that's a good one. Yeah. That's a crappie right there, my friends. Look at that. Top of them here. Let's see. 
measure that one real quick. Wow, that was 15 inches. That's a crappie. They're right here, folks. Sometimes, you know, these little old spots like this can hold a few fish. Just got to try them and see what's there. Good crappie. Nice. Let's see, that one will go. Thirteen inches. Thirteen inch crappie there. There might be another one there. Usually where you catch one, there ought to be a few more. didn't really take it under he just kind of grabbed it and swam with it I don't believe he'll make it though but we'll check him and I tell you what he's close He's 10 inches to his fin right there. But you know what? We're going to let him go. Hey, <laughs> don't you tell your buddies what happened up here. Let him go. I'm going to say there's a few more fish in here. Come here, buddy. Okay, yeah, he's eleven and a half. He's definitely a keeper. Yeah. <sighs> 
structure. I think the fish are laying right in here close. See that crappie there? He just kind of just pecked on it a little bit and the float went sideways. And he was on there. Sometimes when your float looks like it's acting just a little funny, <laughs> a lot of times there's a fish on there. There's a, that's a little bit. That's a little bit. That's a crappie. I don't think he'll make it, but check him anyway. About like that other one we let go. There we go. There ought to be a crappie there. Nobody knows till we catch him. That's what we're after, folks. Right there. Well, I barely had him hooked. You know, just a few inches can make a big difference in these crappie. That one there is 13. Well, hello, my friends, and welcome back. Cumberland Outdoorsman out here fishing with my grandson and my wife on the Cumberland River. <laughs> and we were here yesterday, my grandson and I, and we caught a few crappie right here. It was a little bit later than it is now, but I wanted to come back out here and see if we could catch a few more. Because this is an outdoor channel, I always include fishing as well, you know, whenever that season gets here. <clears throat> Aside from just hunting and reviewing different guns. But I wanted to bring you out here and hopefully we'll get some action here in a little while. Uh, I think they'll be moving in here just shortly. If we don't catch any right here, we'll move down a little ways because that's where I caught the first one yesterday. And the water drops off pretty steep right here. so. They're going to be close to the bank, and they'll be moving up and down this bank right here. This is kind of an inlet right here where the current goes out towards the main channel out there. And uh, this is where the crappie usually hang out. I know a few other spots here, but right here has always been good. So. Stick with us, maybe we'll get some action here. Well, we're starting to get a few bites. There's a little one there, <laughs> a little white crappie. Let him go back and grow a little bit. But I think they're starting to move in here. Okay, there's something on my line there. Oh, it's a little bass. Oh. <laughs> I think that's a little spotted bass. Maybe. All right. Let him go. 
Yeah. Well, there's be a smaller one. pretty good little spotted bass that my wife caught. See those reddish colored eyes? At least she got a little bit of a tussle. But we're going to let him go. Yep. That is a good crappie. All right. Get the net. I got to get this crappie out of the water. There's a crappie. Now there's a crappie. That's what we're after. I caught him right there, Alex. Right there. Hey. Yeah. Right there. There's a good crappie. I know he'll measure up. Let's see what he measures. 13 inches. 13 and a half, actually. That's a lot. That's a big fish. That's a good crappie right there. You're going to be good in my stomach, buddy. <laughs> You getting bit? Something nibbling on it, ain't it? It may just be your minnows wiggling. Here we go. There's another one. There's another one. Oh yeah. Come on, buddy. Oh, nice crappie. They're in here, buddy. Whoa, what a crappie. Look at that. Look at that one, folks. That's a nice crappie. Right there. You'll catch him right there. Well, I hooked him good. He wasn't getting off. Let's see what that one will go. 14 inches. That's a nice crappie. Is your minnow alive? Yeah. Okay. What do you call them minnows? That's what they are. What do you call them minnows? Minnows. One just hit right over there. Here we go. There's another one. Buddy, they are in here. Get this crappie out of here. That's another nice one. Another nice crappie. Look at that. All right, guys. I think I found the crappie. <laughs> Got my GoPro on and uh, catching them right here by this stump. I've already got three good ones, or four, three or four. 
trying to get my grandson to catch one. Right there. Right in here. Is that good? Possibly. That's the spot right there, man. I'm telling you. be some more crappie right in here. I think what it is, that sun is hitting them now. There's another crappie. I'm telling you they're in here. That one there might make it. Good crappie. Don't you hook me. Let's measure it. Let's see if he makes 10 inches. Oh yeah, 11 inches. Did you get him? No, I almost got focus. Oh, you're getting bit, you're getting bit. Let him take it under. Let him take it, let him take it. You probably got him on there. No. Oh, there we go. Another crappie. That's going to be a short fish there, though. That's a short one there. I figured out what I caught. Here's another crappie. Yeah. That's too short, though. He's going to go back. They have to be 10 inches, but it's a crappie. Alex, throw right over there. Oh, I already got a bite. Did you? Isn't that a good spot, though? Ought to be. Anywhere up and down here. That's a few crappie already. If I can keep this camera pointed in the right direction. Before we leave, we'll hit that spot one more time and then we'll go. Now that the water's nice and calm. These fish, I believe, are in here. I'd like to catch one more real good one. I'd like for you to get him a real nice one. About 16 inches long. One thing I haven't heard is any turkeys going up to roost. I know there's turkeys in these woods. Boy, I sure heard them gobble this morning. You don't catch anything over there? You, it's very likely. Now they're moving. 
I think they're coming into this shallower water right here at this drop off. You can see how this land slopes off? Well, it drops off into the water right here too. So it's deep right up yonder. They're coming up and grabbing it. Did you get him? No. No. You gotta let him take it under, buddy. I did. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Here we go. Net. Whoa, what a crappie. Man, what a crappie. Look at that. A <laughs> dog. That's a crappie. That is a huge crappie. Look at that. Mm. Is that gorgeous or what? Right there, buddy. I'm telling you, they're here. Man, that's gotta be, that's gotta be a two pound crappie, easy. Look at the size of that one. That one there will go. Fifteen inches. That's a crappie. Your grandma sees them, she'll want to go fishing. Alex, I'm not going to throw in. I want you to catch one. Come on. We done gave him some time to settle down. Throw in over there. Good cast. Good cast. See them? I'm telling you, these fish are up and down here. Something just jumped over there. Sit down and relax. Well, my friends, I made it back home and I got a pretty good mess of crappie this morning. I could have stayed a little bit longer and probably caught that many more, but really that's all that I feel like cleaning anyway. And uh, I know that I haven't included many fishing videos on my channel, but I wanted to start out with a crappie fishing video this year and maybe continue onwards. I know that uh, if you watch my channel, you've seen other videos that I made with my wife and grandson where we went out and caught shell crackers and bluegill, things like that, catfish, and also where I went creek wading, which is my favorite type of fishing for smallmouth and rock bass or red eye. But I absolutely love crappie fishing. And when you see these red buds blooming, like I have here in my yard, you know it's time for crappie. And we'll take a look at some of the fish I got here and also the equipment that I was using because I know I'm going to get comments wanting to know what type of rod and reel I was using and the setup that I had. But let me pan down here and we'll take a look at some of these fish. This is a live well that I constructed just for this old boat and uh, I think I got eight or nine crappie in here and most of them Let's see, I'll try to find the smallest one here. There it is. I put a ruler right here on my live well so that I could lay these fish on there and measure them before I drop them in the live well. Because here in Tennessee, we have a size limit for crappie and other fish as well. 
before you can keep them. That one there, as you can see, is 11 inches. And boy, he's still lively as he can be. I just had the aerator on in here. You can see here I've got an aerator. I'll give you a little bit better view of that. And I turn that on. That oxygenates the water. And there's also a pump that pumps water in and water out. Just like any live well, but I made this myself. You can see how that's oxygenating the water, and boy, it keeps them going all day long, you know. Doesn't matter what you catch, keeps your fish nice and fresh. Now, I did catch one that was 15 inches plus yesterday which would qualify for the TARP program or T-A-R-P Tennessee Anglers Reward Program and I went ahead and photographed it I think I'm gonna have it mounted but here's another really big crappie that would also qualify for that this one here is a little bit shorter this one's just shy of 15 inches actually it's about 14 and a half but still a really good cropper. And most of them measured up, you know, around that size, 13, 14 inches. That's a good filleting crappie. That one there is just over 13, as you can see. So, you know, catch crappie like that, you've had a good day. Now the rod and reel that I was using is one that I've had for a long time. You've seen this before. This is a Shimano Scimitar, medium action, six and a half foot rod with cork handles. I always liked cork. I just like the look and feel of natural cork for the handle. And what I've got here is a Daiwa Revros 2500 reel. I really like this reel. Very smooth, light. It's only a couple of years old. And I got a good, good deal on it at uh, Academy Sports and Outdoors. And the line I'm using is a eight-pound test string and just a regular crappie hook with some weights, a slip bobber, and of course also the bobber stop. That way you can adjust the depth of your presentation while you're fishing and really zero on at the right depth. Where you're catching fish so i'm hoping to get out and catch some more i'll get these cleaned up and right now is the season folks when you see these red buds if you live anywhere in the eastern united states you know what red bud trees are and when they're blooming it's time to go fish for crappie because this is the time of year to get them and so anyway folks the window of opportunity is open right now. This is right at the beginning of April. The last few weeks of March on into April is crappie season here in Tennessee, but it's also turkey season. And next weekend is the opener for the youth hunt, and I'm looking forward to taking my grandson out. And I think I've got some gobblers already lined up. Whether or not we get any of them remains to be seen. So with that being said, let me thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it. And until next time, y'all take good care of yourselves. Get out there and enjoy the great outdoors. It's waiting for you. We'll see you, and God bless.